Hi everyone, this is Taylor from Civil Engineering Academy and today we'll be working a PE Civil Water Resources problem um, specifically about oxygen deficit in a stream. So the problem statement says the deoxygenation constant for determining the oxygen level in a stream is 0.65 days to the negative 1 base E and the reaeration constant is four days to the negative one PCE. The initial ultimate stream BOD is 60 milligrams per liter. The initial oxygen deficit is two milligrams per liter, and the stream is flowing at 44 feet per minute. The oxygen deficit in milligrams per liter one mile down the stream is most nearly what? And then we have these four answer choices. So to solve this problem, we are going to be looking in the PE reference handbook, our best friend 2.0, specifically section 6.7.4, and that's titled Oxygen Dynamics uh, Microbial Kinetics. And then in that, we're going to look in the first section, 6.7.4.1, about stream modeling and the Struder Phelps equation. And so, looking at all of our constants that we have so far, let's just check them off um, one by one. So, we're looking for the oxygen deficit, and if we look in that section, that is going to be D. So, D equals what? And then, if we just go straight to all of the other variables, below these equations, we'll see we have D, DO, DA, and then a few more. So DO is the dissolved oxygen concentration, and we don't really have that given. DA is initial dissolved oxygen deficit in the mixing zone, and we have an initial oxygen deficit of two milligrams per liter, so DA is two milligrams liter and then if we keep going do sat is saturated dissolved oxygen concentration we don't have that that wasn't stated in the problem kd is the deoxygenation rate constant base e and we do have that that's the first thing they gave us so kd equals 0.65 days to the negative one KR is the reaeration rate constant. We also were given that. That's four. So KR equals four days negative one. LA is the initial ultimate BOD in the mixing zone. And we were given that at 60 milligrams per liter. LA equals 60 milligrams per liter. Else we, need. we need T time. So we were given a flow rate and a distance. So from that we can calculate the time. So T also equals what? Okay, so looking at all the variables that we do have that we're given, let's look at the equations and see which ones we need to use. So the first equation is solving for dissolved oxygen deficit, D, and that is what we need to solve for, so we'll use the first equation. The next one is solving for time of the minimum dissolved oxygen, um, but we weren't given that and we were not asked for that. And then the third equation, DO equals DO sat minus D. We also were not given the dissolved oxygen concentration in the stream. And we were not asked for that, so we don't need to use that one. So the equation that we're going to use is this big, scary equation, but do not fret. We're going to solve it one by one. So we need to find D, and we also need to find T time. So first, let's find time. We were given one mile, and we were given 44 feet per minute. So let's just divide one mile. We'll flip this 44 feet per minute because we need to find time. And then we'll convert miles to feet, and that 
conversion is 5 to 80 feet per mile. And you can just find that in your section 1.2 of the PE reference handbook. And we want the time in days because these other constants are in day to the negative one, and we're going to want that to cancel out. So we'll do 60 minutes per hour and 24 hours per day. And then from that, we get time is equal to 0.08. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and it keeps going days. And now we have all of our variables, and we can just plug it right into this big long equation. So let's do that. Step two to find the oxygen deficit. And then we have our last term, which is this initial oxygen deficit. So I'm just going to keep writing over here. So those units will cancel. So we have milligrams per liter on this side plus milligrams per liter here because these day to the negative one will all cancel out. So we know that our answer is going to be milligrams per liter and that is what we're looking for there. So if we just plug this into the calculator, we'll get D is equal to 11.64 milligrams per liter times 0.947 minus 0.716 plus 1.433 milligrams per liter and all of that is going to equal 4.116 milligrams per liter which is about 4.12 milligrams per liter. Whew. And let's see our answer choices, and that is B. So if you're looking for any more help or resources to solve the PE Civil Water Resources exam, be sure to check out Civil Engineering Academy for lots of course material or study material.